Hi guys! Have you ever wondered what the flags of the planets would be? Today I'm going to try to realize this interesting idea. Let's go to space. And naturally, the first one will be our home planet, namely the Earth. Did you know that 70% of the Earth's surface is water? So let's make the background of our flag bluish. Just below the center of the flag will place a globe, showing its enormity. We humans have an innate desire to communicate and cooperate with each other, especially in difficult times. So I decided to place three people on top of the globe hugging each other, showing that all people are willing to help each other in a difficult situation. Of course, you know that the Moon is the satellite of the Earth, but do you know just how far away it is from the Earth? 384,400 kilometers away from us. Just let that sink in. Let's make a flag out of it. First of all, I'd like to make a black background for the flag, because it's very dark in space. Did you know that the surface of the Moon reflects quite a significant amount of sunlight? So even in the darkness of space, the Moon can be quite bright. That's why I decided to make the Moon in the center of the flag, which will be bright on one side and dark on the other. I think it's a great design solution. The flag is unusual and very much in line with the Moon. Do you think the Sun is a star or a planet? I'm just kidding, of course it's a star, the closest one to the Earth. Did you know that the surface of the Sun is a temperature of about 5500 degrees and its core is 15 million degrees hot? Let's make the flag yellow to show just how hot the Sun is. And in the center of the flag itself, let's put a white circle that represents the core of the Sun. Do you know what's responsible for sunspots, travelers, communication and power grids? Of course, it's the magnetic field around the Sun. So let's make a picture of it around the Sun in the shape of a circle. Also, don't forget about the coronal loops on the flag, because they help scientists, for example, to learn more about the behavior of magnetic fields and how they affect the activity of the Sun. So we'll depict coronal loops as different sized white circles around the center. It's very nice and unusual. I think this flag has its place. Do you know which god Mercury was named after? No points for guessing the Roman god Mercury, who was the messenger of the gods and the god of trade and financial gain. So against the black background, which represents the blackness of space, we'll depict the god himself standing on the planet, representing his majesty, because this is such a great god that his image appeared on coins, mosaics and sculptures. The flag that came out in the end may accidentally interest the astronaut and put it on Mercury. Do you know which planet is called Earth's twin? Venus. Because it's similar in size and composition, but its atmosphere is extremely inhospitable to life. Since the temperatures in Venus can reach 430 degrees in the daytime, making it the hottest planet in the solar system, the flag will be a tricolor of orange, yellow and red. Venus has a thick and dense atmosphere consisting mostly of carbon dioxide, CO2, with traces of nitrogen and other gases. So let's picture a spiral in the center of the flag that shows the dense atmosphere of the planet. And so we have a magnificent flag which conveys many things about Venus itself. Our next planet is often called the Red Planet. Uh, why, you may ask? It owes its name to the reddish color of its surface, which is due to the presence of iron oxide rust. So we'll show this redness with two red bands at the top and bottom and a black band in the center that is slightly larger than the red ones, which will once again signify the blackness and emptiness of space. Interesting fact, Curiosity is a car-sized rover that landed on Mars on the 6th of August 2012 as part of NASA Mars Science Laboratory mission. Let's put it in the center of the flag and get the perfect flag for Mars. Which planet is the largest in the solar system and is the fifth one from the Sun? Correct, Jupiter, just testing you. Let's make it a cool flag. The big red spot, a powerful storm larger than the Earth, has been raging on the surface of Jupiter for at least 350 years. The background will be blue and in the center of the flag we'll put a white circle representing Jupiter with a red circle and the storm sign. We managed to make quite a realistic flag for Jupiter. The second largest planet in the solar system, with a diameter of about 116,460 kilometers, is Saturn. On the flag I decided to depict Saturn's seven largest moons – Mimas, Enceladus, Tefia, Diona, Rhea, Iapetus and Titan, which is slightly larger than the other moons. Saturn has the most extensive and complex ring system in the solar system. 
It is composed of countless individual pieces of ice and rock, ranging in size from tiny grains of dust to large boulders. So let's picture the ring on the flag. And in the center of the ring itself will be a yellow satin circle. To make the flag look more appropriate, let's paint one of its sides. Say, the right one. And then we have just the best flag I could think of. Do you know which planet is seventh from the Sun and has 13 known rings? Of course, it's Uranus. Did you know that the rings of Uranus are relatively young, estimated to be only 600 million years old? That might have come as a shock to some people. Let's represent it on the flag. First of all, the flag will be green under the color of uranium, which absorbs and reflects light and consequently has a green tint. In the center of the flag will be Uranus itself in the form of a white circle and on top of it, Titania in the form of a white circle too. It's the biggest moon of Uranus. Around the Uranus are 13 rings which were formed from the debris from the collision of two large moons or icy bodies. This flag is incredibly unusual and cool. I hope that someday the planets will have their own flags and this will be a possible option. The next planet is Neptune. Neptune is a god of water and the sea. This planet was named after the god because of its blue color and connection with the sea. By the way, according to the legend, Neptune created a horse by hitting the ground with his trident, resulting in a spring from which the first horse appeared. The flag of Neptune will be blue, and on the flag there will be leaves of laurel and a trident that will serve as a background to Neptune. And black color will speak of a small quantity of sunlight reaching Neptune. And the black semicircle on which the trident stands will speak of a large dark spot located on Neptune. The flag completely conveys both the story of the god and the history of the planet. And finally, it's the turn of Pluto, which was first discovered in 1930 by the American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh. It is known that Pluto's atmosphere has a complex and dynamic structure with seasonal changes and the presence of haze and clouds. So let's imagine a flag with a blue background and a white circle, which represents Pluto's atmosphere. Inside the white circle there will be a brown one, which symbolizes Pluto with a heart, which is a bright area on its surface. This feature was first spotted by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft during a Pluto flyby in July 2015. The flag turned out very cool and realistic. Thank you all for watching. Write in the comments what you think about these flags.